the benefits of rose tea. Mmm. It is believed that roses began being cultivated as far back as 5,000 years ago in China. And while rose tea may very well have began back then, it wasn't really until the Han Dynasty that rose tea really picked up steam and started being used for medicinal purposes. Okay, but why rose tea? Hmm? Well, yes, we all know that roses are super pretty and their use has become more decorative than practical in recent years. And that's why I'm here. To remind you, or educate you, about all of the awesome things rose tea is good for. A study of 12 rose cultivars found the phenol content and antioxidant activity of rose tea to be equal to or greater than those of green tea. Rose tea is also rich in gallic acid. This antioxidant is known to have anti-cancer, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and analgesic effects. This tea of rosy amazingness is also high in anthocyanins. These are colored pigments that are associated with good urinary tract health, eye health, improved memory, healthy aging, and a lower risk of some cancers. Now the unfortunate downside to rose tea is that apparently that hot water can't extract all of the antioxidants out of rose petals. In fact, rose petal extract boasts a 30 to 50% greater antioxidant activity than rose tea. What? Oh man, I demand a recount. I will not accept defeat. Let's calm down and reflect. Rose tea is still fabulous for lots of different things. Oh, you thought that oranges had the vitamin C market cornered? <laughs> I say, ha. Huh. Well, then you're probably going to be surprised that rose tea actually has more vitamin C than most citrus products. Experts will recommend drinking three to four cups of rose tea daily in the early spring and fall to avoid getting the flu. Oh yeah, I'm feeling rosy now! And this use actually goes way back because the ancient Chinese used it for cold and flus as well. Consuming an alcohol extract of rose damascino was found to have an anti-diabetic effect in animal studies. Studies also show it can help decrease blood glucose levels. Rose tea's polyphenols are also known to help with diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. Rose tea's powerful rise to glory continues with its ability to help with pain, sleep, and anxiety. Rose aromatherapy has been proven to improve your mood and sleep. A study done on sleep-deprived rats showed that the extract of rose can treat sleep deprivation by inhibiting the activity of certain receptors. And rose damascena has been shown to have analgesic properties that help with sleep as well. Yes, nap time! A study conducted in South Korea found that white rose petals decrease the oxidation of lipid and proteins in hair cells. A 2014 study compared shampoo made with rose petal extracts to shampoos commonly used to treat scalp seborrheic dermatitis. The research determined that the natural rose petal shampoo was just as effective as the medicinal treatments. Rose phytochemicals can even inhibit the secretion of sebum, which helps prevent itching and oily scalp issues. All these benefits and rose-scented hair too? Oh, Rose, you are just too sexy. Scientists have actually done research that says that rose tea can block genetic mutations which cause cancer. Other research shows how rose tea's antioxidants can help scavenge free radicals that are released during oxidative stress, thereby lessening the threat of cancerous cells. Studies have shown how roses and rose tea are effective against several strains of bacteria. Studies have also shown how rose tea retarded the growth of certain species of yeast. Treating menstrual pain is actually one of the early uses of rose tea in traditional Chinese medicine. One 2005 study investigated the effects of rose tea in 130 teenage students in Taiwan. Participants were instructed to drink two cups of rose tea daily for 12 days starting one week before their period and for six menstrual cycles. Those who drank rose tea reported less pain and better psychological well-being than those who did not drink rose tea. While I would love to claim this as fact, there is a decided lack of research in this area. What the research has ascertained so far is that rose tea is able to curb hunger pains between meals. As part of your overall diet, rose tea helps improve digestion of fats and cholesterol. Pectin contained in rose petals binds with fat and cholesterol before they can be absorbed into the blood. Oh, 
doctor, doctor, doctor. All I'm asking for is a miracle. All he wants is a miracle, folks. Arthritis is one of the leading causes of disability in the United States. Thankfully, rose tea can help here too. A 2015 study concluded that the anti-inflammatory properties of rose tea are equal to a prescription drug called NSAID, a drug that sometimes causes stomach upset, which rose tea doesn't. Oh yeah, take that prescription drugs! Ongoing research suggests that rose tea improves circulation and helps with joint health. Now these are the primary things that rose tea has been researched for so far. There's actually a ton of other things that it could possibly be good for as well. Early research indicates that rose tea could help with mental focus, dementia, seizures, antidepressant effects, reduced severity of allergic reactions, improved insulin resistance, better heart health, as well as the treatment of liver disease. Overall, rose tea is a safe herbal remedy with no reported side effects. <gasps> Now, some health experts recommend limiting consumption to five cups of rose tea a day. So that's a pretty high limit. Now here's the one thing. Rose tea, as you now know, is high in vitamin C. And an excess consumption of vitamin C can cause diarrhea, headache, dizziness, and nausea. That said, you generally have to surpass a minimum of 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C to start seeing any negative side effects. And there are actually studies showing people taking as many as 100,000 milligrams of vitamin C and not having any adverse side effects. So, the chances of rose tea giving you any of these troubles is really slim. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, don't forget those handy dandy like and subscribe buttons right down there. If you want to learn more amazing things about plants or herbs, please check out the benefits of spearmint or the benefits of lemon peel. Have you had rose tea before and experienced any of these benefits we talked about? Please let me know in the comments section down below because I would love to hear about it. Until next time, please take care of each other and go embrace the power of the rose.